So if you're anything like me, you're ready to just jump right into your virtual machine. That's server 2012 R2, configure Active Directory, add your client to it, and off we go. However, there are some key things, Microsoft best practices, that we need to configure on both the server and the desktop in order to successfully run Active Directory within a virtual environment. The first is that it's suggested that we create an additional hard drive to store the sysfall files, the NT database, all that good stuff. So consequently, what I'll do is I'll come up here to my domain controller and I'll turn on settings. And as you can see, I have a hard drive here. And right down here, whoops, I'm going to choose add. It'll bring up the user account control because I'm making administrative changes. And what I'm going to add is a hard disk. I'm going to say next. Recommends that it's SCSI. And then notice here, you know, independent disks are not affected by snapshots. So consequently, you know, do we need a, a non-persistent disk? Changes, uh, the disks are discarded when you power off or restore a snapshot. Well, in our case, I don't plan on going back. So I'm going to keep it as persistent. Changes are immediately and permanently written to this disk. You bet. I don't want all that stuff to disappear. We'll say create a new virtual disk. Now for the size, 10 gigs should be more than efficient. And I'm pretty sure, don't hold me to this, that's Microsoft's suggested best practice. Uh, I'm going to store this virtual disk as a single file because I don't plan on moving it amongst production machines, so I don't need any speed. You know, here's the file name for that. And I'm going to just, so I know that that's the disk that holds my sysvol, I'm going to go ahead and call it MIIM DC0001 sysvol virtual machine hard drive. So I'll say finish. Now, the virtual machine hard drive is there, as you can see. Okay, so we'll throw this off the deal and say, okay, now, before we install Active Directory, we need to do a few things in the machine. Just because we have that hard drive, think of it as I just shut down a physical machine, I install the hard drive. Is the machine going to recognize the hard drive right off? No. So I'm going to go into my DC. I'm going to pause this while it starts up and I log in. So as you can see, I've logged in. I'm going to go ahead and go into Tools. I'll go into Computer Management. Bring this up. Now, I'm not sure why, you know, my initial account um, is giving me such big icons, such big font in VMware, but it'll work for now. So I'm going to go into disk management here. So I'll double click on disk management and it'll connect. And as you can see here, there is my disk. Now, if you notice it's down, it's offline. I'm going to right click and I'll bring it online. It's not initialized. So I'll right click and initialize the disk. It'll give me the choice of boot records, and I'll choose MBR. And at this point, I'm ready to, it's unallocated. I'll create a new simple volume. I'll go through this process here. I'm going to assign the drive letter S. And the reason I'm going to assign S is because I'm actually going to give this volume the label sysvol so it matches the information that I put on the virtual disk. I'll say next. I'll say finish. And of course, the next thing it's going to want to do is format. I'll format the drive. And then once that's completed, format the disk. Yeah, I know you can't format E because I called it F. So we'll format. Format sysvol. Say OK. And if you notice, it's formatted and it's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And to check it, I'll just go into Explorer here. And if you notice, I have the sysvol, so it should be ready to go. Now, the second thing is, as we install Active Directory, the default administrator account is what's used to do Active Directory. However, with Server 2012, as that account isn't instantiated by default. So we need to go in and actually instantiate the account. And the easiest way I know how to do that is to get the command prompt. I'm going to right click and run as administrator. So I'll say yes. 
I'm going to come in here and type in net space user space administrator space WAC active colon yes. And I'll run that command. And as you can see, the command completed successfully. So now if I go into local users, By typing user and going in here to user accounts, I'll go down this is a little funky here. I'm going to manage another account, and here is my administrator account. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a nice complex password. Matter of fact, I'm going to use this one. Got that password? Just kidding. So I'm creating that password. I'll change the password. I've got the disk. I've got the password. I'm ready to start the install here. Now, the other thing I like to do is in my desktop, also in Windows 8, 8.1, the administrator account is not on. And I'm not going to show you how to do that in the video because I just showed you so you can go back. What you can do is go in, open a command prompt, run it as a administrator and then go ahead and instantiate that administrator account. All right, so we're ready to install Active Directory in the next video.